Hey guys, um, my first crush, probably Koopy Inch. Luke Hodgson. <laughs> Wait, am I doing it? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I didn't even remember who it was. I don't know. Me. Shout out to So I have a crush in year eight once. I'm not going to say who. No. I'm just... Bronte Kasher. Bronte Kasher. Bronte Kasher. Bronte Kasher. Bronte Kasher. Sean Zay. Chess fans. I don't have time for crushes. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Harvey. <laughs> Probably Olivia Crombie. Harrison Salmon. <laughs> Tristan. Tristan. Luke. Fuck, I don't even know. <laughs> Quinn Fay. <laughs> Tristan as well. <laughs> Tristan. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Jenna. 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 <laughs> um, Kira. Jenna. Uh, Jack Lund. Uh, Jack Lund. <laughs> uh, Kira Knightley. Uh, Jack Lund. Of course, Jack Lund. Yeah, probably Jack Lund as well. For me. <laughs> uh, Marcelo Crespo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jacqueline. 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 It's a tough one, but Jacqueline. Jacqueline, may as well. Um, we got you. My first crush was Harry Salmon. <laughs> Toby Mackay. Sam Howard. Oh my god, mine was Sam Howard too. Mine was Lucky Dead. Oh Quinn Fay. Jacqueline. <laughs> Quinn Fay. <laughs> Toby Mackay. First crush. First crush. I'd probably say myself because, I mean, look at me. I'm a three-course meal. Entree, main, and dessert. <laughs> um, first crush, I really don't have a crush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. So, no. Jack Lom. You have to say it. a good boy. Okay. Costum Bass. Marty. Zoe. Pass. 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 Brock Dor. Tristan. Brock Robbo. Morris Bucks. Luke Hodgson. Brock Dor. Um, Nathan Dressel. Brock Dor. Jack Lon. Jack Lon. Jack Lon. Jack Lon. Luke Hodgson. Not to make his head any bigger. <laughs> um, mine was Matt Berkeley. Uh, Kippy Ange, <laughs> Tristan, um, Harry, Luke. You used to think Tristan was pretty cute. <laughs> Ethan, Harry, <laughs> Lachlan Lucas, Kira J. <laughs> Alexa <laughs> Catherine Will, Josh, <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> Casey Balagot, <laughs> Talon Mulhall. Oh, it's gonna have to be Talon. <laughs> <laughs> It was Dame. Jed Somerville. Talon Mulhall. <laughs> Talon Mulhall. Talon the man Mulhall. Talon Mulhall. Big sexy Talon. Lucas Mustache. <laughs> My first crush was Liam Brunson. <laughs> Will Zong. Alex Durambi. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> I don't have one. Uh, Kiara. Nathan Dresser. I didn't have one. <laughs> Ollie, bye. <laughs> I didn't uh, even know Ollie. Mitch. <clears throat> um, I don't know. The owl. ASMR. <laughs> no, the owl. Yeah, definitely the owl. Cody Geddes. <laughs> um, Quinn Faye. Mine was Nico Columbo. <laughs> Toby McKay. I don't. No. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> Tristan Glansnig and JJ Wolf. <laughs> Dane Bull. <laughs> um, Liam. Luke Hodgson and you seven. Nobody. <laughs> Sam. Sam. <laughs>
Red Rub. Definitely. Miss Thompson. Miss Russell. Miss Harvey. Hi, um, Miss Lee. Assad. Yeah, Miss Assad. Miss Harvey. Mr. Slater. Mr. <laughs> Slater, 100%. Derek Zammett. I told myself. <laughs> Miss Summerfield. Miss Payson. Uh, Alouche. <laughs> Miss A. <laughs> Mr. K. Phooey. Mr. Phooey. Lee, I don't have a favourite team. Okay. Probably True Body. Yeah, Miss A. Uh, Summer. Avo. Birth Dog. Hattie. Uh, Godfrey. <laughs> Gotta be Jacqueline. Uh, Slater. Uh, Jacqueline. Uh, again, Mr. K. Uh, Jacqueline. Mr. Jacqueline. Are we all just going Jacqueline again? <laughs> Probably Jacqueline again. Alex Wood. <laughs> McLaughlin or Murphy? McLaughlin or Blacker? Carruthers. Paddy. Paddy. Was Miss True Body? Uh, Miss Dory. Mr. McLaughlin. Mr. Rice, Miss Langley, Mr. Redrup, Miss Collins, Mr. Baxter. Mine was Miss Story, definitely Mr. Wall. <laughs> I would say Miss Little, Miss Little French. Yeah. No comment. Uh, Mr. McLaughlin, uh, Miss Harvey, Collins, Mr. Baxter, Mr. Barlow, <laughs> Mr. Wright, Mr. McLaughlin. Redrop. Miss Blacker and Miss Maney. Love them all, but Miss Blacker, Miss Beckinsale, and Miss Abdusevich. Miss the True Body. Is that all? Yes. My uncle, Mr. Paps. <laughs> Miss Thompson. Um, <laughs> to try to get any of them. <laughs> um, probably Miss Rutherford. It was Miss Byrne, but then she left, and now it's Miss Thompson. Mr. Red Rub. Oh no, 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 hang on. My favourite's Mr. Wood. <laughs> I can't fit Jacqueline into this one, so I'm gonna have to go with that, uh, Mr. Ball. Uh, Jacqueline. <laughs> Jacqueline? <laughs> Just Jacqueline. <laughs> uh, Miss Maney. Mr. Lloyd. Mr. Godfrey. Miss Maney. Jimmy C. Miss Murphy. Jimmy C. Dervis. Actually, yeah, I'd go Dervis too. Uh, Mr. Paps. Easily Mr. Slater. Mr. Slater as well. Miss Weir. Miss McBride. Harvey all the way. Mr. Dervis. Oh, it's either Vile or Mr. Slater. I don't know. I can't choose. Mr. Paps, Mrs. Amit or Casey Balagot? <laughs> um, Avo or Miss Lee? Or both of them? Yeah, Avo and Miss Lee. Probably Miss Thompson. Miss Summerfield. <laughs> Miss Abdusevich and Miss Thompson. Oh my god, Miss Thompson and Miss Summerfield. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, Mr. Zamet, Miss Lee, and Miss Harvey. Uh, Avo, Summer, and Asad. Avo and Murph Dog. <laughs> McLaughlin and Summer. <laughs> Miss McBride. <laughs> um, either Mr. Cameron, Abdusevich, or Murphy. Um, Avo or Miss Weir? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Miss Matthew. Miss and me. Mr. Barlow. Oh, he's pretty nice. I'll say him. Mr. Foo. Miss Thompson. Who's Miss <laughs> Thompson? Mine's Miss Murphy. <laughs> I don't have one. My favourite teacher is Mr. Wood. Um, Mr. Baxter. Mine's Miss Murphy. Miss Green. Harvey. Miss Harvey. Mr. Lloyd. Mr. Cameron. Summerfield. Mr. Cameron. Advo. Jimmy and Avo. Baxter. <laughs> Kayla and I used to throw paint at each other in um, art. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. With you girls, jeez, there's too many. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think. I play swimming carnival. Yeah. yeah. Maybe on the sport days, I guess, usually. Playing fun. Colour day, 2020. 
Number one, go to Newcastle for soccer. Um, probably school Oztag. Uh, legless. At home. Probably Brody Lester getting <laughs> his mouth washed out by Miss Harvey. Seeing Dion for the first time. <laughs> Can you repeat the question? <laughs> Fight club. Uh, when they redact each other. Yeah. When Doris spat on Danny. <laughs> when I hit the ladder at U9 past camp. <laughs> I do it. Oh. Raymond Terrace, Sport Yeah, I agree. Who <laughs> else? Um, regional oh. dance with Casey's D and M. Oh, yes, I agree. Regional dance, Casey's D and M. Okay. <laughs> Alex spilling Vujanix coffee. Yeah, when I spilled Mr. Vujanix coffee. When Alex spilled Vujanix coffee. Uh, regional dance. Moment. Setting Hayden's know. armpit on fire, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually have that to say. Meeting Jack Lump. <laughs> Setting his armpit on fire. <laughs> I don't have a clue. <laughs> Cooking in child studies. <laughs> um. <laughs> crap. What's yours? <laughs> Hayden's mullet. <laughs> oh yeah! Biology was that up. <laughs> um, <laughs> dancing with Miss Sue Hill in PE. When Brock smashed the art room window. I don't know. Um, year 10 pass. Ski. Trip. When Harry would make bird noises in year 8 and they'd talk back to him. Uh, year 10 PE with Sudi, the all girls class. <laughs> yep. Uh, Miss Suit Hill being a fucking teacher. I mean, sorry, sorry, edit that out. <laughs> um, definitely uh, year, year 9 nipple. <laughs> I don't have one. Uh, our friends. I think my favourite memory was probably when I tried to do the splits and I split my pants open. <laughs> it was pretty embarrassing. What about all those times you crushed Tackle Sasha? Uh, oh my god. I, I don't want a lawsuit. <laughs> I haven't got one really. Yeah, swimming carnival. It's probably like, uh, yeah, holiday this year. Uh, my best, most memorable would definitely be playing handball every day and beating everybody. <laughs> so you're not going to say it? Well, then. And that's it, I guess. I don't think there is one. I think just... <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I think just class interactions. I don't know. Oh, that's so sweet. That. Yeah. Um, when I ran headfirst into Jess Tree. That was amazing. Year 11 camp. Um, when Yowie won Colour Day for the first time this year. I fell down the hill in front of everyone and I had mud all over me so then I had to go to um, Mr... What's his name? Mick... Mick... What's his name, that PE teacher? McLaughlin. McLaughlin. <laughs> and he had to wash my clothes in the dryer because I forced him to. <laughs> Mine was when I was on crutches and I was going down the maths block and I like absolutely stacked it and I did like roly polies down the stairs. I don't know, just like playing sports. I was like, yeah. Meeting Jack Lon. Shaking hands with Jack Lon. Eye contact with Jack Lon. Being in the same room with Jack Lon. <laughs> The snow camp when Lily got stuck on the hill. <laughs> Mine was the snow camp and I got stuck on the big run because I thought I was good enough to be a go on it. And every time people would try and help me like scrape the snow out of my like boot, I would like I would like step on the snow again and the person would start all over again. So yeah, it was pretty good. Everyone had a lot of patience for me. <laughs> Mine was the chance I had pre-workout at the gym for the first time. And she bolted to school and we were in the library. She was drawing all over herself and she had no idea that she did this. Yeah, herself. I had like massive scribbles on my yeah. shirt. It was so funny. <laughs> I don't really have one. <laughs> <laughs> like I do, but I don't. <laughs> um, oh. My favorite memory, I think it was in year seven. We were like, it was like Talia Sabanite, and then we got a we got a sandwich out of the bin and we gave it to Talia to eat. Ew. And she ate it. Oh my god. <laughs> What's the bacon and cheese rolls? Oh. Oh. Um, K 
Cambo Cambodia. Yeah. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna explain this very well, but basically, when we used to sit with Kiara and all that on the hill, she was trying to break up with Ethan, and then the people in the two years above saw them like hanging out and they're like, kiss, 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 kiss. And so she couldn't break up with him because they were telling them to make, it was just so funny. And she came over afterwards and she was like, guys, I was trying to break up with him. And it was so good. <laughs> Running into um, Kira's balcony door. <laughs> I'm um, getting my finger jammed in the top saw uh, window. <laughs> Jumping between chairs and falling off into gravel. <laughs> I still have a scar. I can't remember anything. I might have Alzheimer's. <laughs> getting kidnapped by tall people. Um, I'm going the opposite route. I would say... Uh, uh, <laughs> winning port quest. Uh, year 11 can't when Casey sat on my face. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> The chair chandelier in our year 11 camp room. Oh, 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 this has to be a good story. Here we go. Back back in year 7, back in year 7. Yeah, I'm looking at you. I'm, look, I'm looking at you. About half the class didn't know what room we were in. And there was one person in that group that did. Yeah. And then he, he walked off to the room by himself. And left, the, <laughs> and left about six of us stranded. And then we all got scolded by the teacher because we were 15 minutes late. <laughs> Crying after every single physics exam. Uh, the chair chandelier with Ethan. In my defense to that story, I tried to yell to you guys. I tried to tell you a true, but you weren't listening. But anyway, I got I got a detention for touching a toy bear in Miss Harvey's room. In Miss Harvey's room, thanks to a special individual, aka Karen. Uh, first day joining the engineering boys. Best day of my life. I'm um, so meeting Dion for the first time. Love you. Oh. Love you Dion. <laughs> All right, it's already been said, but our chair chandelier was that was pretty gold. Going to elective history just every year. Our group memory is when Joshua Kashesh got the athletics award in front <laughs> of the whole school. <laughs> Probably the year 11 camp. In year seven, when many towns push Sasha off a seat and into a bin. <laughs> when Alex spilled the coffee in year ten. When Mu <laughs> When Miss Ewan told Harmony all she could see was white. <laughs> in English, when Olivia had a mouthful of coffee and then spat it everywhere. <laughs> Probably just year twelve math at this point. That's just a great time. Uh, year eleven social. Yes, yeah, same. <laughs> Um, probably formal. Favourite memory is when Alana called Mr. McLaughlin a dill. <laughs> a dill? Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, when I met Ollie Bai, that was my most <laughs> memorable moment. Um, yeah, when the kid tried to dunk off someone, some other kid's back. <laughs> I don't know, probably just colour day. Um, mine was last year's colour day. <laughs> there, there, there's three, there's three. All of Miss Four Acre. There's Tune Into Channel Four, uh, Defenestration, and she told us how to pick pocket. This is going to be the same as Sabrina, so I'm going to let her tell her because she knows it better. Ask um, <laughs> The time that Talia called me fat and lonely, <laughs> so I threw a bucket of noodles at her. <laughs> oh, buddy. Um, when Billy dropped Sasha. <laughs> Same. When Maddie pushed Sasha into a bin and he got a back x-ray. Oh when Harmony punched me in English <laughs> and she said I punched her and then the teacher said all I see is white her. Somewhere in 10 years. Hmm. I... I'd hope to see myself maybe in hospitality or um, somewhere in the creative fields of singing or um, interior design, yeah. I want to be travelling. I want to be right now in 10 years travelling Europe. Um, I really like photography, so do that. That's a dream jo job, being a nurse in a different country, probably. In IT work. In 10 years, I hopefully I just can go on holidays for fun. I just have a job as mine. 
playing sport. Yeah, traveling the world. Uh, owning a company. Construction company. <laughs> Chucky. Army. Hopefully the male modeling industry or making music, rock and roll. It's my passion. Dead. <laughs> Probably managing um, Anthony's modeling business. Rich. Homeless. <laughs> 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 Um, oh, on a pole stripping. I don't know. Well, she's gonna have like ten kids, married. <laughs> married at nineteen. Married at nineteen. She'll have her own apartment. Still without a job. I'm um, hopefully, hopefully traveling somewhere. Um, uh, dead. Yeah. Travelling, uh, probably married with a kid, I don't know, um, travelling, maybe famous, who knows, making heaps of money, happy and slaying life, travelling, probably, I don't know, I don't know, probably on like my 600 LEV life, you know, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know, probably just working, I guess. In the field of business. I don't even know where I see myself tomorrow, let alone 10 years. Um, hopefully, finished uni. <laughs> yeah, um, out of uni. Yeah. Sleeping. <laughs> Graduated uni and with kids. Um, I have no idea. Yeah, out of uni. <laughs> Rich, beautiful and successful. Good job and yeah. Married. <laughs> Please, someone love me. Yeah, yeah mine's probably married to Fred, children. Fred Perfect. <laughs> children. Um, be a nurse or paramedic. Yeah. yeah. Drunk in a ditch. <laughs> Can we do that one? Can we do that? Oh. <laughs> Alive in a ditch. <laughs> okay, drunk in the street. <laughs> Um, hopefully alive. Very rich. Yeah. <laughs> no. Interpol's most wanted. Yeah. Jail. I don't, I don't know. Who knows where they're going to put it? I'm going to be a rich boy. Being with Jack Being with Jack Lawrence. Hopefully travelling somewhere cool. Oh yeah, let's go somewhere fun. Rich and retired. With Jack Lawrence. With Jack Lawrence. <laughs> With Jacqueline. With Jacqueline. <laughs> I'm traveling. Um, happily married with and have a kid and have a stable job. Um, hopefully married with kids and traveling. <laughs> traveling, preferably on the Greek islands. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have my own clothing line. Not famous, but I will have my own clothing line. Um traveling. I'm married with kids. <laughs> oh, you'll be married. Okay, married with four kids. Um, I'm gonna be, I would have already been on Love Island because I'm gonna have a glow up. I'm gonna be a pop star. And at the 10 year reunion, everyone's gonna want my signature. Just putting that out there. Hopefully alive. Uh, six, six feet under. Dead. Uh, local garbologist. <laughs> the Bahamas. Back in the classroom? Probably dead. <laughs> um, so is the sex. So, so, so. <laughs> Living life! Hopefully out of prison. <laughs> Japan with Alexa. Uh, yeah, I just hope alive somewhere. Not paraplegic, please. <laughs> Rich and successful next to my wife. <laughs> um, hopefully in a lab doing something I like. <laughs> um, traveling and getting a dog. Preferably employed. <laughs> <laughs> Japan with Karen. Hiding in Kira's house. Living the crazy rich Asian life. Couldn't tell you to be honest with you. Hopefully successful. <laughs> Maybe alive. <laughs> um, I don't know, teaching? 
very poor. <laughs> Same. <laughs> um, <laughs> hopefully, I don't know, successful in some way. <laughs> Probably teaching. On a beach. <laughs> We're gonna be like Jamaican drug lords. Harry's first crush, Lily Ronson. Um, what was the second question? Favorite teacher. Favorite teacher, Miss Rutherford. His most memorable moment is meeting all of us. When he went into the toilet. When are you? You say, you say. <laughs> <laughs> Sam says, okay. Okay. Oh, you say it. Okay, you say it. You gotta say it. What is it? Oh, I'll say it. He went into the toilet and some kid was saying his shit with the door open. I see myself being a nurse and mum. Either a football player or a netball player. I wanna be a mum and also open up a business for beauty. A community service worker or a mum doing some sort of research or I think being some sort of a freelancer I think that would work really well and just working for someone when, whenever I have a project. Existing. I don't know honestly. Probably not here. Yeah. No. Probably like on the turn. <laughs> no, on the turn, sorry. Probably, I don't know. Probably still in uni honestly. Fort's I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, probably tr travelling. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> In Scotland, <laughs> traveling, uh, traveling and teaching, traveling or probably a personal trainer. <laughs>
and just good times. Very much enjoyed. All right, and all the best for the future. I really, really um, will miss you, and, and and the very best. Take care. Congratulations. Well done. You guys made it. It's been a tough year, but um, absolutely killed it. And you guys are going to go on and do some great things. So all the best of luck to you. They all started out with the intelligence of cucumbers that we went from that. <laughs> and then a goodbye message to Year 12. Don't come back. Congratulations Year 12 on graduating from Port Aki High School. I'm very happy for you. I have lots of fond memories of many of the students in your year group. Students that I taught in my Year 7 science class. To some of my Jiu Jitsu champions. They used to tear each other to pieces. My construction boys and my DT students, you've all been fantastic people. If I was to give you any advice in life, get as much as you can out of it, be fearless, don't be scared, and work hard. Find something you're really good at and work very hard. Have a great time. Memory? Hi Year 12, look, I've only been here a really short time, but you made me feel so wonderful and welcome and it's just been a real joy. Oh, my favourite memory. Oh gosh, where do I go? Extension English, Dan, amazing. Would come out with these absolute pearlers that would just amaze everybody and was so on point with what we were doing. Such a really wonderful time being able to talk to. You know, to actually engage with six wonderful individuals who all have such a love of learning and a love of just exploring text and exploring the world around them. So I really thank them because I value them and I will miss all six of you beautiful extension students. For my um, standard class, made me feel absolutely welcome and I felt like I had known you for all of six years rather than just one year. If I had to have a favourite memory, oh, Jai never stops eating. That boy just shovels food into his mouth like he'll never have another meal. So that would probably be my favourite memory for that. But then again, there's the wonderful personalities in that class too. Alec, who never ever comes to class. Anthony, who turns up once every so often. And it's just, but it's just been a joy. And I'm really fond of you all. And thank you very much for this year. And I hope you've all had a good year too. Well, actually, this is the first time I've ever, ever done this in all the 20 years that I've been here at Port Hacking. So I'd like to say, race you to the gate. I'm going to miss you all. I really like this year's Year 12. I've made some dear friends and um, we might meet for coffee later. You can do it and next year you'll be COVID free. So I hope you travel the world, have an amazing time. Enjoy this holiday because it's the best one ever. As for a bit of advice, I think um, look, it doesn't matter where you get your good advice from, even if it's from an inch grain art, you only get out what you want in. <laughs> a goodbye message. Um, guys, I wish you all the best. Um, there is always um, a light at the end of the tunnel, guys. Um, just make sure that you put your best foot forward. And I'm sure 100% that if you address your hard task with a positive attitude, you can easily create a positive outcome. And um, it was my absolute pleasure to teach you this year. And um, I'm going to miss you. See you later. I think my message would be the same, Year 12, stop thinking about those big things, those big moments, those events, they're not the ones that define you, think about and enjoy just those little things that happen every single day that make things special. You are all very special, you are brave, you are clever, you are creative, you are resilient. The very best of luck. Or whatever you choose to do in your future, may you always find joy and happiness in the things that you do. I will miss you. To all the Year 12 students, I just want to say best of luck in whatever you endeavour to do in your future. Um, you've been through so much this year and you've come out stronger from it. Take what you've learned, the resilience you've built and just push forward in future to do anything you want to do. You can achieve anything. Bye.
as a class, we've really come together, especially at the end, to be a true team working together to get our best results for the HSC. And I want to just say well done to everyone who really has listened to everything I've said as a new teacher coming in and has put so much effort into their trial HSC exams and to improving their work. And I wish you all the best as you go into your lives next year. Bye. Just like where I do the cringy maths teacher. Life's like a maths problem, <laughs> gotta find the solution. Um, no, nah, in all seriousness, I guess just thinking on uh, the school values um, that we implemented this year, I think the, the most important one is personal responsibility. And I'd just like to implore you to, as you go out um, and become an adult, that uh, you take responsibility for yourself. You don't be a victim and uh, let, let problems fester but you you know you take take control and be active about um, you know actually it kind of is like a math problem right like identify what's wrong and, and find out a solution and, and move forward yeah so my final message for year 12 would be you know make the right choices later in life uh, make sure you always follow your heart make sure you trust in your gut and you really follow your instinct because it'll tell you where you want to be and you know what you want out of life Year 12, I know this year, 2020, has been a very difficult and trying time for you all. Uh, you've made it, congratulations. I'd just like to wish you uh, success in your HSC exams, uh, success for whatever you do after you leave uh, school, whether that be at university or moving off into a TAFE or further education or just into a vocational job. Um, I'd like to wish you uh, every success uh, in your long life that's ahead of you. Uh, lots of happiness, uh, joy, um, good times with not only uh, family and friends, but also uh, a wonderful career. Uh, thank you for being uh, a Port Hacking student and I wish you all the best uh, in your future career in life. Thank you. You've all done an amazing job this year. You guys have worked so well through such a difficult year. You've been amazing, you've stuck together, you've worked hard, and you know, you're nearly there. You've just gotta get through the next couple of weeks. Obviously, it's a big next couple of weeks, but you'll do well and just go forward and find your future. Year 12, I just want to say how proud I am as your Deputy Principal of everything that you've overcome this year, the challenges that you've faced, but really that you've remained with smiles on your faces and I know that you'll walk away from Port Hacking High School with many fond memories and I hope that some of those memories are of you 12 and um, how resilient you were in overcoming those obstacles that you faced. But all the best to you year 12, I know you're going to be successful in whatever it is you choose to do. So good luck from me and I'll miss you all. See ya! Uh, good luck to you guys. Uh, you're so resilient, you are so strong, you've made it through such a tough year. Um, um, it's, I've been so grateful to have been a year advisor this year, so I wish you the best of luck and I'm looking forward to seeing what you do in the future as well. Take care guys. Bye!